Good day and welcome. It's almost Mother's Day and we are making a sash. You can use them for Mother's Day, Father's Day, baby shower, weddings, birthdays, just whatever your occasion is. So let's go into it. And you know what we do here. Just subscribe to our channel, like the video, share it to somebody and tell somebody to tell somebody that we're doing something here. They can benefit from they could start a business they could just decorate themselves or somebody they love okay so as you can see we've sewed together our first piece of satin this is the four bar the four inch size by whatever length you want it to be um if it's for an adult i uh, will advise you make it maybe around like 70 75 inches for kids you can do between 40 to 50 depending on the kids age so this one this is the first piece so we're just gonna go around now and just chip these edges off since we're not using a serger if we have if you have a serger and you use the serger it's actually going to do the trimming for you but since I didn't use a serger, I'm using my sewing machine today. So we're going to go ahead and trim out all these extra pieces before we join the next one. Six inch weight. Let me see here. It's six inch. I'm sorry, it's gonna so I went ahead and stitched this part already. You can see here. I forgot to tell you when you're stitching to join the six inch piece to the four inch piece and the felt or or interfacing, whichever one you choose to use. I will advise you come in from your first sewing line if you can see here I try to use up so my first sewing line here is the yellow and my second sewing line is the white where I'm joining this black fabric the six inch fabric to these two pieces I came in to be able to leave that first sewing line outside so it does not show on the outside of my work. Let me. So you see here, we don't see it because I sew past it. I left it out here and I sew. I came inside and started sewing a little bit in. So that way it stays on the wrong side. It's not going to show up on the right side of my material. So I advise that's what you do. So for this one, I just went ahead and pinned them and just pinned them together just so I'm, I'm sure that nothing's slipping off and everything is still even and in place as I want it to be while I'm joining them together. So since we've joined this end together, we're going to come here and do the same thing. You just come in here to sew this end to this end the same way like that. We're joining them here just like this. You're sewing this end to this end. Just as we did the first one. Don't be worried about this. We're going to figure, I will show you what we're going to do. That's how you see your, your design for the sash comes out. So you're going to sew this end to this end. You remember when you're sewing, you're going to come past, you want to pass this yellow line and sew in. A little bit after your first line of stitch so this yellow line is my first line of stitch joining these two together so to join the black you want to come in here so this first line of stitch will be left on the wrong side of your work instead of showing up on the right side I hope you understand that so let's go ahead let's go join these two together and come turn our fabric inside out and see what our sash is looking like. So after we've sewn the 
black piece to it like this you see what we got here i just took off my pins and this is what we have as you can see oh i left this other pin in okay so we're done sewing it now we're just gonna go in there you just want to put your hand inside and turn it just pull it out If you have a small hand like I do, you can just fit it inside and pull it out until you get this entire thing out. So after turning your scalp inside out, this is what you should have. You should have something like this. And your edges, when you're cutting your fabric, you can go ahead and just cut everything the same way just i was actually doing it like that to make it straight but then i just changed my mind to create this slant so if you want this slope just cut it from the beginning i can cut it anytime it doesn't matter for me it's gonna be straight like i want it it's gonna be straight it's gonna be right but if you're a beginner and you're doing that just i will advise you just cut it from the beginning make it straight make everything the same way because you don't want to give yourself or you don't want to be confused in the end. So, um, for me, it's time now to just take this to your ironing bowl. And you're going to iron this on steam iron. You want to iron it on steam. Iron it nicely. So, you see, like, my joint, if you can see here. This is where I had to join my fabric. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. That's where I draw my fabric. So, like I told you, it was not going to be recognizable. You see here, you can barely see it. It's right over here. It's right here. But you cannot even see it. So, we're just going to go ahead. You want to go now and iron your work on steam iron. Just make sure you iron it and let all these points just relax that's why i say you should iron on steam so that way it's gonna go flat sash it should look like this you see when you iron on steam iron it should look like this don't worry about this i'm gonna cut this off so you should have this Let me see. This is our back. That's what the back looks like. And so at this point, you want to cut and just seal this end up. You fold it in and seal it up. Just try to fold it in just a little bit and if you have glue you can go ahead and glue that in you should cut that part off you want to just try to fold it in just bend it over bend it over like that And glue it to seal the ends. Or you can, I will not advise you sew it because then the sewing is going to show out. Or you can do hand sewing if you don't have glue. You can just, once you cut like this, then you can decide to seal it with your hand. Or you just use glue. I will advise you just use glue. But you can seal it with hand sewing if you want to. And if you're going to personalize this sash, then it's time to do it. 
I'm going to be personalizing uh, some of them. Maybe not this one, but I'm going to be personalizing some. So you can just, if you have a, a um, vinyl cutter, you can cut the vinyl and do it. You just cut the vinyl and iron on your letters or whatever words you put in on there. Or you can just get the letters from the store and just iron them on there. Or they, I think right now they even have some that just, you can just stick them on. Just add them to it and it stays on. So, yeah, you can choose to go with either of those. But at this point, you've made your sash. As you can see, it's beautiful. It looks professional. I mean, who wouldn't want to rock this? It just, yeah, it's just so good. So, we've done it. Hmm. Since my fabric is fraying, I have, um, like, what I use for the embroidery. I'm going to just use some on the ends and seal it up with the glue. So instead of going ahead to use all the fancy stuff I have here, like this, um, the stitch fusible bounding web or the glue or anything, I just went ahead and I stitch it inside, like you see here. I just stitch it down inside. And that's another very good way because that way your sashes, you don't, if you don't have anything like a pin or anything that like, I got a pin here, but if you don't have one of these, the pin or the brush, if you don't have one of these to pin it on the person, you can still, you're still good once it's like this. And that's your sash. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, share our videos to social media, to your friends, and whoever you know that this might help, just share it to them. And subscribe to our channel by just leaving that like, hitting that like button. You help the YouTube um, algorithm to push our videos out to other people so they can be able to see. And it could help somebody. So thank you so much for telling a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend. Thank you and see you again.